Good morning guys, what's up? Welcome back to another vlog. Today is Monday and I am about to head out of the house and go to my 8.30 a.m. chem class. And then I signed up for a vinyasa gentle yoga class because my legs are extremely sore. I worked out legs on Saturday and then arms and abs on Sunday. So I have a super tight core, sore arms and sore legs. So I thought a nice gentle yoga class would do me really well. I was originally gonna go to a spin class tonight, but I don't wanna kill myself. My muscles are so sore. You guys know that within the last two weeks I've just started getting back into a workout routine again and so I just have like super sore muscles. I did not do what my hair today. I'm trying to go with just like my natural hair a little bit more often because it honestly, it doesn't look terrible and um, why put the heat on it if I don't need to? I mean, I'm literally going to get sweaty after class anyway, so what is the point? Drinking my coffee and eating a Vans blueberry waffle. And I wanted to show you guys that Melissa Maribel sent over the study plan for my next exam. I took my last exam on Friday and I still don't know how I did yet, but I'll let you guys know. I believe we're gonna do test corrections again. So if you guys are interested in checking out that video, I'll have her channel linked below as well as the study plan. So if you're in Gen Chem 1, you can check this out because it's got a bunch of videos and other resources. And I am super excited that she sends this to me because it helps me so much just guide my studying for my next exam. I definitely need this whole coffee to wake me up this morning. You guys, when I tell you I went to bed really late last night and for most of you it's probably not that late at all but you guys know that I'm like an early morning person so I typically like to get to bed around like 10 and I was up until after midnight last night doing the pre-class assignment for today. Typically the pre-class assignments are like super easy and you just like watch a video and answer some questions about whatever we're gonna be doing in class. This one was way harder. I mean, like we had to do, we're starting like Lewis structures, which are pretty simple, but they were asking us so many different questions about like electron and molecular groups. And I haven't really learned that yet. So it was so confusing for me, but luckily I have a bunch of videos that I'm gonna watch and hopefully it'll all make sense after today. But. I was trying to do that last night on like no sleep. I was so tired. I even was gonna start this vlog last night just because I was like getting schoolwork done and kind of show you guys how I do some stuff last minute. But I couldn't. I was like, it's too late. I can't function. out of class and I just drove over to yoga lab and my class isn't until 10 15 and it's currently 9 30 so I was thinking about going into fruita bowls and bringing my laptop with me and working on some school stuff before the yoga class but I have to change out of my sneakers so I just brought a pair of sandals with me because obviously you don't wear socks and sneakers to yoga Walking up to yoga now, I just finished my green smoothie, but it was like pretty light because it was a detox smoothie, so I don't feel super bloated. So I think I'll be good for yoga. My water bottle, I'll link this water bottle for you guys below. It's actually not glass, it's plastic, um, but it's BPA free and it's just like, looks like frosted glass. So it's really cute. Let's go get a good yoga workout. Just got finished with yoga and now I am driving home. I am so glad I went. I know I told you guys this last time, but doing a gentle heated yoga is like the best thing for sore muscles. And I just like, when we first started the yoga session, I could hardly even get into like downward facing dog, which is one of the main positions that they do. And by the end of it, I felt really stretched out and like, I feel good. My muscles are loosened up. I was so tight this morning. I felt like I was like hit by a train when I woke up. So I am home now. I'm about to just throw together a quick salad for lunch and I'm using this green goddess salad dressing that I told you guys about in like two videos ago, I think. Um, it's pretty good and healthy. So 
So it's a while later now. I was just working on some things around the house. We're having family over later this week, so I needed to do like some cleaning and stuff, but I left that out of the vlog because it honestly was not very interesting anyway. Um, and now I'm just having a snack, some cantaloupe and this Alani New energy drink. Um, I know energy drinks aren't great for you, but Alani New energy drinks are definitely better than like drinking a Red Bull or something. And I only have them once in a while when I feel like I really need it. And I have so much to get done and I was just starting to feel that like midday slump. So I decided to have one of these. This is in the mimosa flavor and these are so freaking good and they actually work. Now I'm gonna go through and read chapter six of my genetics book. And then over here I have the study guide where I'm just gonna go through and answer the questions while I'm reading. And I think there's a way for me to put this in split screen. I don't know, I typically use the physical book, but I like using this one because as I'm going through the questions, I can literally search it in the digital book instead of having to like read through everything. I can just go up here and this is like a fun tip and literally search whatever it is that I'm looking for. So if I wanted to read about like micro deletion, then I would just type this in and then you can see exactly where it comes up. And that is the beauty of going digital. I got a call from my eye doctor saying that the contact lenses that I ordered finally came in and I've been waiting for several days, but luckily they gave me trials. So that's kind of what I've been wearing in my eyes the last few days. So I'm gonna go pick those up soon, but I thought I would at least finish this genetics work so that way when I come back, I can just work on my lab stuff. run in there and grab my contacts really quick and then I think I'm gonna run into Target. I was gonna just order food tonight because Chad's on shift and I didn't buy anything when we went grocery shopping to just cook a meal for one tonight um, but now that I'm thinking about it like Target's right across the street I might as well just run over there and grab some stuff so that way I have a lunch for tomorrow at work. If I decide to just order food tonight then I'll have to end up spending more money at work tomorrow to order food again so I think I'll do that and that way I'll probably be a little healthier too. Just got my contact lenses and I just got two boxes so this is actually only a three month supply and it's so freaking expensive I think the total ends up being like $150 and my insurance did not cover a bunch so I end up having to spend I think 80 and that's all I get for the whole year so I'm gonna end up having to buy more but these are the ones I use because a few of you guys were asking me so I used to use the AccuV monthlies but now I have to move to dailies because my eyes are difficult so I'm home now I'm just putting away the stuff I bought at Target and I just wanted to show you guys that this is what my dog does when he's begging for attention. I did say hi to him when I came in but then I started putting the groceries away and so this is what he does. He literally does this all on his own. Hi. I'm gonna put some peppermint oil in my diffuser and get my brain flowing here. Somebody commented on my last video I think and asked where I got my diffuser from and I wish I could link it for you guys, but I literally can't find it online because it's from forever ago. I got it at Home Goods. Um, Home Goods has a ton of these. Oh, whoops, I'm clicking the wrong thing. So it like cycles through the colors. It's by the brand Spa Room. So if you go to their website, you can probably find something similar to it, I would imagine. Um, but I love that it's got all of these colors. So I'll just keep it there. So I just got about halfway through my notes on naming compounds. I actually went over this concept on just ionic compounds with Melissa Maribel last week. Um, so I'm, right now I'm just watching the video honestly and just taking some notes because after a few days I kind of already forgot and I didn't actually go through and take my notes. So I kind of wanted to show you guys how I do this because I never really showed you guys this I don't think but this is kind of how I've been organizing my notes. So I'll show you from chapter three. This was on the last exam. So basically I get the information that I'm showing you guys in a combination from Melissa Maribel's notes that you guys can purchase so I'll be sure to link the ones that are from chapter 3 on the electromagnetic spectrum as well as some of these other concepts in here like quantum numbers she's got a ton of really helpful notes I'll be sure to link all of them if you guys want to check them out and I'll show you guys how I do
do this as well but like I was saying it's basically just a combination of things from her notes as well as my professor's PowerPoint and notes that I took in class I combine everything on Microsoft OneNote and I find it extremely helpful it's a really great resource to kind of condense your notes and that way you have like basically one big study guide when your exam comes and you can see how I organize this with bolding and I'm starting to incorporate some colors in my newer notes I import pictures and I actually pull up Microsoft OneNote because it's linked on my iPad and then I write in things like here this is stuff that I've written in on my iPad to show like examples and then I get the key skills checklist from my professor's PowerPoints or from the exam study guide and this is really helpful because it gives me a literal checklist just to make sure that I know how to do everything that's going to be on the exam for that chapter and then I also like to put down the formulas and things that I need to memorize so that way I'm prepared for the exam. So right now I am getting deep into chapter five on naming compounds. This was where I kind of fell weak on the last exam and I'm thinking the ones I got wrong will most likely be the naming compounds ones. So I'm really trying to get a good foundation of this before moving on. So I thought it would be the perfect time to do a little bit more of an in-depth review of these naming compounds flashcards. So if you guys don't know, these naming compounds flashcards are a product from Melissa Maribel here on YouTube. You guys know she's helping me a ton this semester with my chemistry and we're doing lots of study sessions over on her YouTube channel and she actually created these and they are a complete lifesaver. Let me tell you, naming compounds is a lot of memorization and it can be really tricky. So I've been using her notes, her videos, and then these naming compounds flashcards and they are so worth the money. So if you're in chemistry now or you're even in high school, these will help you. Or even if you're not and you know you're gonna be taking it soon, like you could totally get a head start on this kind of stuff because it will help you so much. What's cool is they're all color coded. So for my last exam, I was really only working on ionic compounds, which you guys probably saw in my last video. So I literally just pulled the ones out that were from this color category and I just worked on those and it helped me limit my time. So that way I was just studying like what I needed to study for that exam. But look how many there are. She did all of the most common ones and then she even threw in a few of the uncommon ones for each of these groups. And you guys can see this is what it looks like. So you can practice with the compound itself and then naming it magnesium chloride and then you can go back and try to come up with a compound. I was sitting on the couch the other night just having Chad quiz me on these. They're a really great resource especially if you're someone like me who's hands-on and sometimes it helps to just get like off of a screen and actually physically go through and practice with flashcards. I've always loved using flashcards. I think it's such a great way to practice information like this. So if you guys want to check out her naming compounds flashcards I will go ahead and link it below and if you guys do decide to get these please tag me on Instagram I, I literally love when you guys tag me in your Instagram stories and you show like using study tips or tricks that I taught you or even just like getting your work done it just inspires me to know that I'm inspiring you we are all in this together so I'm gonna finish going through polyatomic atoms and the covalent compounds and then I'm gonna pull those out of here according to the color and then I'm gonna start practicing all of those So I've been working on my notes and homework for a few hours now and I decided I'm gonna cook dinner now because I'm starving and then I have to get right back into it because I haven't finished my post-lab data analysis and I can't take the post-lab quiz until I finish that. So it takes me forever. I'm making a taco bowl for dinner tonight and I'm just gonna start out by cooking this ground meat. I tried to get the lean ground meat or like more lean than typical and then I'm just gonna season it with this taco seasoning. I'm gonna cut up some tomatoes and avocado. Let me know if you guys actually like when I show you how I cook meals or if you'd rather me just do like a quick little montage. I don't know if you guys actually try to make the things that I show you. the jasmine rice in the microwave it only takes 90 seconds to cook i love those things they just make it so easy when it's just me by myself because i don't feel like pulling out the rice cooker now i'm just finishing up the meat i already added the seasoning and i am heating up these black beans and the corn over here just added the rice to the bowl and now i'm going to add some of the meat if you can hear 
chewing. I just fed my dogs, so I promise that's not Chad in the background. <laughs> Some corn, black beans, avocado, tomatoes. And I know this stuff isn't good for you, but this is my favorite hot sauce in the world for anything like taco Mexican food. It's the fire sauce from Taco Bell. So I'm going to drizzle that on top and we are all set. Let's see if I can do this aesthetically. Perfect. Subscribe if you think my dog is cute. That's how I get all my subscribers. My baby. Mm, he's so sweet. I can't figure out how to do the calculations for the last one, so I'm just moving on to the next one and I'm leaving myself a page to do the calculations right here. And then I'm gonna start here with the next lab and do the pre-lab and then in between classes on Wednesday when I would normally be doing my pre-lab, I'm gonna go and get some tutoring help so that I can do the post-lab data analysis because your girl is confused. I just got together my bag for work and my lunch prepped and everything and I'm gonna make some overnight oats to eat tomorrow at work and I thought I would show you guys how I make them. So you just need some oats, almond milk, and I like to add yogurt because it makes the texture really good and this one only has two grams of sugar and it's just coconut flavored. I'm taking half a cup of oats and then half a cup of almond milk and then I'm gonna add in this whole yogurt. And I'm gonna stir the whole thing together till it's all evenly mixed. And you just stick it in the fridge overnight. And then in the morning, once it is firm, I will add some blueberries and raspberries on top and then just take it to work with me. So I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog here. My lamp keeps flickering, it's freaking me out. Do you see that? Okay, I'm turning that off. That's creepy. I watched too many scary movies for that. Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog here so that I can edit and upload it for you guys tonight. I'm just gonna be finishing up some laundry and getting everything together for work tomorrow. And I will probably be vlogging again on Wednesday. So thank you guys so much for watching today's video. And if you're not already subscribed, be sure to click that subscribe button and I'll see you in my next video.